All right, I'm at a protest in downtown Montreal here at Emily Gamelin Park. It's the Pagida or Pagida, I don't know, Pagida, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So basically a group that is against Canada and Quebec receiving more of the refugees and immigrants and countering that protest is a group that's come out obviously in favor of receiving the refugees and the immigrants. So as you can see behind me here, uh, each respective group is on their own side with a heavy police contingency in the middle. And we're going to try to get a little closer and see exactly what's happening and how this is unfolding. Again, a heavy, heavy police presence dividing both groups and uh, trying to keep peace And obviously the wrong group is on the other side who don't want refugees or immigrants uh, coming to Canada, particularly with the current international situation. All right, so as you can see, the group chanting refugees welcome it's led by jaggy singh a well-known protester and activist at the front of the line here so if i understand right over here behind uh, the police line where you see the white shirts the police white shirts the lieutenants uh, would be the pagida folks the uh, folks fighting against immigration and refugees and if you look over on this side, all the way around here, this is the right group, the ones that are fighting for accepting more refugees and for accepting more immigrants. All right, so as you can see behind me, the Pagida group is leaving, and then the anti-Pagida group is following, and so the police are obviously acting in consequence of that fact. The line is still being held right here behind me, and as you can see, that's where most of the Pegida protesters were, so they're now moving away. Again, behind me here, you can see the Pegida protesters moving towards St. Catherine Street, chanting for freedom of expression. As you can see, the police line moving in here behind me. And again, the protest is moving, as usual, onto St. Catherine Street. The Pegida protesters being followed by the anti-Pegida protesters and it looks like things are stopping in the intersection of St. Catherine and Barry here. As you can see, the riot police exiting their vehicles uh, rather hastily, and uh, the intersection now being blocked here. We've got one uh, riot police officer, obviously with his uh, tear gas right here. Uh, Pegida protesters calling for liberty and freedom of expression for their opinion. And as you can see behind me here, we have the anti-Pagida protesters who are trying to counter the protest. The police forming a line here in the intersection of Barry UCAM, uh, Barry and St. Catherine. So trying to divide the group once again to avoid any problems. Again, a quite a forceful police presence at the moment, moving people onto the sidewalk out of the intersection. As you can see here, the anti-Pagida protesters have been relegated to this side of the street. And if we look on the other side over here, we have the Pegida protesters chanting for liberty of expression, and obviously the anti-Pegida protesters with their chants against racism and fascism. And so a heavy police presence. Here we have the police intervention units, which are here to mediate and obviously try to keep things peaceful. So again, as I was saying, the Pegida protesters have gathered behind the police line here, chanting for freedom of expression. That's pretty much their only slogan so far. And the anti-Pegida protesters obviously have taken all corners of the street. And I have my favorite videographer with me right here.
All right, so as you can see there, a little bit of a tussle between police and anti-Pegida protesters. The Pegida protesters wanted to move forward, and the police are actually allowing that, pushing the anti-Pegida protesters out of the way. So as you can see, a few police officers there actually using their batons in a forceful manner to move the anti-Pegida protesters out of the way to allow the Pegida protest to proceed down Berry Street. So if we look behind me here, you can see the police actually making a corridor or a route for the Pegida protest to proceed. And if we look once again at the protest, as you can see, the anti-Pegida protesters are actually uh, creating or causing quite a bit of resistance to the Pegida protesters, which is a good thing. But again, a little tussle there between police officers and anti-Pegida protesters, which I find absolutely unfortunate. It would appear that the police are taking sides on this issue. And we're just going to try to get a little closer here and uh, keep you informed of what's going on. They've actually moved in to form a line here, allowing the Pegida protest obviously to continue down and uh, obviously anti-Pegida protesters being loud and strong against the Pegida march and uh, police still forming a line here as you can see being quite forceful with anti-Pegida protesters. This is an unfortunate situation as obviously they appear to have taken sides in allowing the Pegida protest to proceed down Berry Street and we're going to keep you informed obviously as developments unfold as I always do. No, pas Saran! No, pas Saran! No, pas Saran! No, pas Saran! All right, anti-Pegida protesters and police obviously standing ground here on Berry Street. And as you can see behind me, the Pegida protesters obviously staying still down uh, over there with the protection of the police. We have the anti-Pegida protesters obviously being loud and strong behind me here. But once again, police and protesters uh, holding their ground forming a line here. It almost reminds us of the Oka crisis and that famous uh, McLean's Magazine front page with the soldier and the uh, native protester. So as you can see, uh, once again, the Pegida protesters standing their ground, obviously just a little distance down. They are surrounded by a police contingency offering them protection. And again, the police obviously dividing both groups here on Berry Street in downtown Montreal on a beautiful sunny Saturday. It feels like summer. And uh, again, the Pegida protesters obviously just staying gathered down behind the police line here. And uh, the anti-Pegida protesters right here obviously being loud and clear uh, with their arguments and their principled stance uh, for bringing in more refugees. And a lot of the Pegida protesters actually turning around to go in the opposite direction. 
it seems like their protest has been countered and wrecked and we're happy to see them go. All right, so as you can see here, obviously the contingency of riot police behind me here leaving towards their vehicles. All right, so it looks like things have pretty much concluded. As you can see, the police are packing up and leaving the corner of St. Catherine and Barry Streets. There's still obviously uh, Jaggy Singh and uh, the group uh, Pegida. Obviously, we have a lady here uh, fingering Jaggy, and so she obviously doesn't know what she's talking about. As you can see here behind me, a large police contingency still staying on site here to keep the peace at the Mount, uh, sorry, the Barry Ucam Metro, uh, forming a line to prevent people obviously from crossing the street and jaywalking. And so it looks like, again, it's been confirmed that the protest is going to move towards Champ de Mars. Uh, another police formation, another police contingency leaving the metro here, uh, moving obviously towards their vehicles to take up position at the next spot right behind me here. Obviously, again, police holding a line, waiting to see what happens next. Everything peaceful so far in downtown Montreal here on a beautiful, sunny Saturday. So I don't know if this is police actually leaving and calling it a day, but as you can see, there's a, a huge contingency, a huge convoy of police vehicles here that uh, appear to either be leaving or going to another location. I'm probably guessing that they're leaving since things, again, like I say, seem to have quieted down. If we look behind me over here, as you can see, uh, one of the police cars is trying to get through. And there you go, there's the call. A successful protest, a successful counter protest against Pegida. And so that is it. So far today, it seems like anti Pegida has won, which is a good thing. We were loud, we got our point across, we shut their protest down, we countered racism and Islamophobia. And just like in the month of March when Pegida protested, this is the second success in a row for the anti Pegida march. <laughs> Jade here from the Jade Zone blog. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like or dislike this video, leave any comments or questions in the box below, and be sure to come back soon. Rock and roll.